Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. I am a mother of four and on my channel I just do all types of motherhood videos consider subscribing So today I'm just gonna go ahead and take you in an evening here I it's about 4 30 and I'm going to clean up the kitchen a bit And then I'm going to go ahead and make some dinner and after that I'll probably just take the kids a bath So come along with me as I get ready for dinner So before I start dinner, I decided to make a box cake and I'm going to use one of our favorite, which is the Party Rainbow Chip. And I put everything in here. I kind of just dump it all in the bowl and just mix it and throw in the 13 by nine. So before I start with dinner, I'm just gonna get a cake going so that we have a dessert today. Okay, so it's well mixed and I'm just gonna put it inside this, um, I think it's like a, 13 by 9 and I'm going to spray it and then we're just gonna go ahead and pour this right into there and I love to like taste this right right here but I probably won't so we're just gonna up oh, pour this right over and I am making a mess of course trying to do a lot of things at one time Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven and then I'm going to get started on dinner next. Okay, so for dinner we're going to make um, oven roasted potatoes since my oven is already on. I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some olive oil on these and some sea salt and then I'm going to bake this at 350 for about an hour and a half and then I'm also going to make some chicken thighs that I pick up at Costco. I pick these up at Costco and I'm going to put a couple on a baking dish along with some barbecue sauce and some onion powder and some garlic powder and not too sure what, but I'll make sure to show you guys as well. And I like to put some holes inside just like this. Because even though this hasn't happened to me, I have heard of people that their potatoes explode. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to do everything possible to avoid that. So I probably could have used a bigger bowl. So now that I have some olive oil on here, I'm going to go ahead and add some sea salt. And this is the sea salt that I use. I pick it up at fries. Some of you guys know it as Kroger. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this on our potatoes. And then we're gonna place this on our baking dish. And I'm gonna repeat this process with these other two bad boys because I used a small bowl and I don't feel like washing more bowls. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process with those two potatoes inside this bowl. So we're gonna go ahead, and I don't um, spray the bottom. I probably could. Let's just go ahead and spray it, just so that our chicken doesn't stick. We're going to give her a little spray there, and I use this avocado cooking spray that I pick up at Costco. Now let's do. So I'm gonna go ahead and. See Season the next. So, using my other hand, I'm just gonna put some garlic salt and a little bit of onion powder. Season. And what gives it lots of flavor is this specific barbecue sauce, the Stubbs Original. I think I'm saying that right. And then we're going to just drizzle it all over. So I have a brush and you can add as much or as little barbecue sauce as you like. I usually use about three fourths of this. Gonna use my barbecue brush and my cake has about 10 more minutes to go. Once my cake is done, I'm gonna put these bad boys in the oven along with the russet potatoes. The russet potatoes do bake on 350 for about an hour and a half and the chicken takes about 45 minutes to an hour. So that gives me time 
to take little Missy a bath. So while dinner is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids a bath. So here's dinner, some barbecue chicken with some russet baked, baked potatoes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven at 350. The potatoes will be in there for about an hour and a half and the chicken will be in there about 45 minutes to an hour. It does um, have like a lot of juice. You can definitely um, take the juice out like halfway through. I personally just put it like in another bowl and then um, I like to use that juice to like dip it in. So it's all to your preference. Okay, so there's two minutes left on my cake. I am going to go ahead and put my potatoes inside. Okay. So I added two minutes to my cake because it felt a little bit soft in the middle. And I, my potatoes have been in there for a good three to four minutes. So we're gonna give this cake about another two to three minutes. And that noise is always friendly, who loves to be part of the vlogs. So, almost there. I'm going to go ahead and take my cake out. I gave it an extra three minutes. Potatoes have been in there for about eight. And I'm going to put my potatoes in the middle. And then I'm going to leave it in there for about another hour or so. In about 15 minutes, I'll go ahead and put in my chicken and then they can finish cooking by themselves and that would give us about an over an hour to cook and that will give my chicken about 45 minutes to cook. Okay, so my potatoes have been in here about a half an hour so I'm going to scoot them over and put my chicken inside. And I already took the baby a bath. I'm going to go ahead and send the boys to take a shower next. So, there's our chicken, there's our baked, baked potatoes, another 45 minutes, and dinner is done. And here is dinner, barbecue chicken, a baked potato. I put some sour cream inside mine, and I topped it off with some cheese blend and our rainbow chip cake that we made earlier. And dinner is done. Super simple. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I already took a nice shower. The kids are in bed and I am going to answer some emails that I've had here for work. If you like videos like these, please make sure to give this a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow here on YouTube and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.